Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video, we're going to be going on a little trip. Well, okay, not so little. We're going to go on a long trip and try to find the largest galaxy in our universe and then try to find the black hole in the middle of it. Let's go and explore IC1101 and welcome to What The Math. So how far away are we going exactly? Well, the distance is actually going to be about 1 billion light years. Uh, that's, when you think about it, is pretty far. I'm going to show you where we're going just right here from Earth, um, just so you can kind of imagine how far away it really is. We're going to go into the search here and type IC1101. This galaxy is actually relatively uh, well known to us, and we've discovered it quite a long time ago. Um, specifically, actually back in 1790 uh, by the British astronomer uh, William Herschel. Um, as you can see, from this distance you can not really see it very well. When we originally discovered it, uh, and then for about 200 more years, we actually thought that this was uh, basically a nebula. So, in other words, this was, according to early scientists, early astronomers, uh, essentially... Okay, there it is. You can kind of see it now. Uh, this was most likely a formation based on a star exploding or a planet uh, releasing a lot of material. Back then, people didn't really understand these very well. Until um, Hubble, Edwin Hubble, uh, back in 1932, realized that these were actual galaxies. They were completely separate entities far, far, far away. Well, anyway, so today we're going to go there. We're going to um, jump to this location. And, but first, let's actually exit our own galaxy. And we only have one goal. Our goal is to discover the black hole, the central supermassive black hole in the middle of this galaxy. Now, if you know anything about our own Milky Way, our uh, black hole is about 4.3 million masses of our Sun, and our galaxy contains approximately um, 100 to maybe 300 billion stars. Hopefully you know what these numbers mean, so that I don't have to uh, write them down for you. The galaxy we're going to has approximately 100 trillion stars, and on top of that, let's actually make this a little bit brighter. Um, on top of all of this, the galaxy we're going to has a black hole that is uh, most likely about at least a thousand, but possibly several thousand times more massive than our own uh, Milky Way galaxy. And the uh, current estimates for this particular black hole are somewhere in between 40 to maybe 100 billion masses of the sun. So uh, it's going to be a long trip actually, but we're going to make this relatively short by accelerating a little bit more and flying uh, through space. Uh, all these little spots you see, these are other galaxies. And we're going to this really large one that you're going to see in a few uh, seconds. So the thing about this particular galaxy is that even though we've known about it for a long time, we still kind of um, haven't really discovered any other interesting objects inside. So we know that it has a large black hole, we know that it has a lot of really ancient stars, specifically a lot of metal-rich stars that are anywhere from uh, 10 to possibly even 12 billion years old and are still kind of around and are kicking. Uh, in other words, a lot of the stars here are much older than the stars in our own galaxy. Uh, and there it is, it's coming up in your view right now. And one thing we don't really know about this galaxy is how exactly it formed, how it got to be so big, and also what its actual size is. Um, so it's kind of difficult to measure these large galaxies, specifically the type of this galaxy being uh, elliptical. It's kind of hard to estimate the actual uh, dimensions and the actual borders here. But um, estimates vary quite dramatically, actually, and uh, most people, today at least, um, kind of think that this is about 
200,000 to maybe about uh, a million uh, light years in radius. And specifically here, you can see that the diameter is actually um, 6 million light years. So making this 3 million in radius. And uh, these estimates do vary depending on the study. But the idea is very simple. This galaxy is kind of really spread out, unlike other galaxies. And even though um, most of the brightest stars and brightest uh, features are actually within about 200,000 light years, the uh, other part extends up to about 3 million light years. And that makes it at least uh, 10, but possibly even 20 times bigger than our own Milky Way. So we're going to jump inside of this, and as you can see, it's very sort of elliptical and amorphous. It doesn't really have any features here, and there seems to be also um, a dwarf galaxy orbiting around it right there, uh, irregular dwarf galaxy. And we're basically going to go inside and try to find this supermassive black hole on the inside. It might be challenging because we're basically are moving through 100 trillion objects, but we're going to do our best. And you also get to see what it actually feels like to enter such an unusual galaxy um, in real life as well. So this is as if you were jumping into the galaxy um, in some sort of a super fast uh, spacecraft that moves at several thousand of light years per second. Alright, so we're going to be following this arrow that you saw on the screen. It's actually guiding us toward the supermassive black hole. And around several thousand light years, we're going to slow down and start moving a little bit uh, slower until we get to several light years away from it. All right, so we're about uh, 13,000 light years away. If you know how far away our own uh, Sagittarius A is from Earth, it's about um, 27,000 light years. So here we're basically already in the central region of this uh, galaxy. Now, everything is super white right now. Everything is ridiculously bright. That's because there's so many stars and so much dust here. I'm going to reduce the illumination a little bit. And you can actually kind of still see other stars and other galaxies um, through all of this dust, but it's not really that easy. But yeah, anyway, so, oh, I missed it. It's actually, I think it's in this globular cluster right there. There you go. I think this is where we're going right now. So in the middle of this cluster, it's very likely that there is a ridiculously large black hole. So let's go and find it. So we are right now literally in the center of the largest galaxy in the universe. At least well, the largest we've found so far. And oh my god, look at that. We got really lucky. I actually just bumped into it completely by accident. Well, looks like that's it. Uh, this is the super massive black hole in the middle of IC1101. So we're going to actually uh, accelerate time a little bit because I want to see if there's any other objects orbiting around it. I'm going to try to discover if there are any other stars here. And um, I'm not pointing the right object. I have to point right in the middle of this. And so let's actually see what mass it has here because this is significantly larger than our own Sagittarius A star. So let's move around it. And I think that's it. Yeah, there we go. So, okay, this is at a distance of 0 0.3 light years away. And this is actually pretty far when you really think about it. Um, and the uh, diameter of this black hole is 412 astronomical units. That's at least 12, 10 to 12 uh, times bigger than the Sagittarius A star black hole. And uh, the current mass is showing at, um, I think it's 10 billion masses of the sun. So maybe a, a little bit on the uh, more conservative side, because we think it might be even 100 billion. Um, but yeah, this is a ridiculously massive and ridiculously large black hole. Now, if I click on the button right here, it will tell me what stars it has around it. And here, we actually, surprisingly, have um, quite a lot. So, it seems that most of these stars are actually kind of uh, of a similar type. These are all M-type stars. Um, in other words, I think for most, uh, for the most part, they're all red dwarfs. And that kind of also explains um, why this galaxy is such an unusual yellowish color because a lot of these stars are really old. They're all basically um, 
ancient, ancient stars that remained or stayed around after the early uh, life of this particular galaxy, when a lot of these stars and a lot of these uh, different objects were uh, more blue in color and more white in color as well. All right, so we're going to change the light in here. Possibly maybe decrease it a little bit just so it's easier to see. And there you can kind of see one of the stars orbiting around this black hole. Let's actually maybe zoom out just a little bit so you can see other stars here as well. Just to kind of uh, appreciate the size of this monster. There you go. You can see the uh, little stars orbiting around a supermassive black hole. Now, um, I think uh, it kind of is difficult to really see how large this object is. So just to help you visualize, I'm going to move really, really close to it and help you understand how ridiculously tremendous this object is. So let's actually select it again. Uh, we're going to go here and uh, we're going to move a little bit closer and basically just uh, take a look at practically the event horizon or the surface of this black hole. So at this distance, right around here, okay, no, maybe around here, which is a thousand astronomical units away. Actually, maybe a little bit closer. Here we go, 700 astronomical units. So right here, we're practically almost at the event horizon. And this is a distance um, of uh, basically Sedna, uh, at its farthest point to the sun. Sedna is one of the farthest objects we found in our so solar system. If I move a little bit closer, so basically if I move just a little bit closer to this object, uh, right before we enter uh, the actual event horizon, uh, we're still actually at it, so right around here. We're about uh, um, 15 times more far away than Pluto is from the sun. So if the center of this black hole was the sun, we're currently at a distance of 450 astronomical units, which is basically about 15 times as far away. So this is how ridiculously large this object is. And interestingly, this is actually not the largest black hole out there. There are ones that are even more massive and obviously bigger as well. And well, so there it is. This is the supermassive black hole in the middle of the biggest galaxy we've ever discovered. And we're going to just kind of get inside of it for a second to see what it would look like right from the edge. So there you go. There is that view, uh, one dimensional view of being inside of the black hole. And basically as you move closer inside, it kind of closes behind you and disappears forever. But we're not going to do this. We're actually going to escape away from this black hole. And uh, just take a look at it once again from the outside. Using default settings for light and for uh, magnitude as well. So this is kind of what the center of this galaxy looks like. And it's very, very different from what you observe in the Milky Way. There's a lot more dust. There's a lot more really ancient stars. And there's definitely a lot more interesting and very unusual uh, events that we don't really know of yet. There's probably things here that we've never seen in our own galaxy. And there might be actually things here that we might be able to discover one day if we have a powerful enough telescope. Other than that, that's all I wanted to do in this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're going to come back and talk about this galaxy a few more times. So do come back, subscribe, and maybe share this video with someone who enjoys watching space videos. Space out. And as always, bye-bye.